So we've got here our um, mate supplied uh, crimp tool pre-adjusted for our terminations. Uh, just a pair of side cutters in case we need the trim cable. A um, pre-adjusted uh, for our RG58 coax cable uh, coaxial strippers. Uh, and a reverse gender male SMA termination. Um, first step in this process is to ensure we have a square end on our cable. So I'm just going to trim that off at the start. We've got a, uh, a flat end now. Um, using our coax strippers, which are pre-adjusted for this cable, inserting the cable from the left to the right uh, in this way um, until the cable just, just hits the end of the orange um, square piece there. So just inserting, opening the claws and lining up the cable. So it's just before the end of the orange, like that. Um, it's spring-loaded so just, just leave it on there and just flick it around a few times. Um, five or six times to make the cut and gently just pulling it off. This will leave you with a stripped cable. What we're looking for here is that the center pin is no longer than the shielding um, wire that's exposed. In this case we're, we're pretty well the same so that's fine. So opening up our packet of our termination there's three components. We've got our um, outer sheath, um, the actual termination itself, and a center pin. So first step in this process is to slip the outer sheath over our cable. It's just a simple matter of pushing that over cable like so. Um, second step is to get our center pin on. Now the center pin is a flared end um, and a flat end. So the flared end needs to go onto the center conductor. So we'll grab our termination, bring the flared end over, like so. Now at this point, we use our uh, termination tool, and it's a simple matter of using the topmost hole. It's the smallest hole. It's up there. There's five, so it's the smallest one. Just open the crimps by pulling them together. Um, and inserting our termination into the top hole, just leaving the flared portion out of the crimp tool. Slowly take it down so we've got it in like so, and crimping it all the way down. At this point, that's now put our center conductor pin on. So the next step in this process is to flick down all the shielding wire. We don't want any shielding wire to touch the center conductor. That will stop the antenna from working. Um, some cables actually have a, a foil coating as well over the installation. We want to make sure we flick this back. It could also be fully removed, but as long as it's not touching the uh, center conductor, we're safe. Next step, we need to insert our termination over that. It just slots in the hole, wiggly jiggly, and push it all the way down. We don't want to force it. Ideally, you'd see it end up like this, where it butts up against the coax cable. Um, what we're also looking for is in the top, that the center pin, the gold air, is flush with the white insulation. If it's too far back, it may not make contact with the radio and won't work. Fold up all the insulation, shielding wire, and then slip over the outer sheath, keeping some pressure on the top. Once it's all the way up, keep some pressure on the top, between your fingers like so and using the largest hole the bottommost bottom most hole um, line it up central so we have a position like this and then crimp him down all the way and there we have a, a nicely done reverse gender male SMA termination